Welcome back to KTN News Center. Let's take you live to Eldred Town now, where I saw a member of parliament, Khalib Kositani, is addressing the press on the swearing in of NASA leader Raila Odinga on the 12th of December. The 26th of August, as directed by the Supreme Court of Kenya, which is the final authority in terms of law in this nation as per our constitution. And we now have a duly elected president and his deputy who have already been uh, sworn in constitutionally as per the constitution in the presence of the chief justice and the registrar of the high court. It was very shocking for a Kenyan of the stature that Raila Odinga is supposed to hold to dismiss our constitution and to insult development partners. Yes, uh, the other day Raila was in the US. It seems he didn't get the reception he expected to get. And he seems to be bitter and having a uh, is fighting wars, which uh, imaginary wars with everybody. We want to tell Raila Odinga, Kenyans are tired. We have had about four months or five months of electioneering period. We are tired. We are ready to move on. We are going on about our business. It is time to rebuild the nation. There will be another election in 2022. And that is where the only election that we know of. And that is what Raila Odinga should concentrate on. Because I can see from uh, his body language and behavior, He's ready to break the NASA agreement and run again in 2022. So we, are, we as Kenyans, we tell him we want peace. We want people to go about their business. We want to rebuild our economy, give our president and his deputy a chance to lead this nation and to continue healing the country. If you are uh, desperate for power, please do not ban this country. Um, we will empathize and we sympathize with those who lost their lives because of you calling them out to demonstrate. And uh, you cannot blame anybody. And I, I like what Raila said yesterday. He actually recognized that we have a government in place. When he was at the city mortuary um, uh, with his crocodile tears, with the, with the other people removing the bodies, he said that the government should compensate these people. I don't know which government he meant, whether he meant uh, Huru Mugai's government, which, uh, which is uh, in place, or a government that is imaginary. But we want to know that he recognized the existence, that there is a government in, in Kenya, led by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, able deputy William Ruto, and that Raila should respect the government in place. We want to assure Kenyans that there will be no swearing in of any other president other than Uhuru Kenyatta, the swearing in that took place on the 28th of, uh, of, uh, of November this year. So let us prepare and get on with our business and build this nation. Focus about Kenyans to ignore whatever program uh, Raila has for 12th of uh, Jamuhuri Day. We want to celebrate our heroes who fought for independence of this country. We want to urge all Kenyans to attend government sanctioned functions and uh, in order for this, their own security and the security of the nation, the security of the businesses of other people and also the, for the safety of the lives of the young and the old, let them all concentrate on uh, genuine business that is sanctioned by government. We know for sure um, Raila is desperate. He is actually, actually doesn't know how he found himself boycotting the election. Uh, of, uh, of, 8th of, uh, of 8th of October. He didn't know. I don't know what, what happened to him, but uh, that is his own problem. We as Kenyans, we have held our elections. We are finished. We are ready to move on. There will be nothing on the 12th. There's no swearing in. If he does it, it will just be just a normal swearing in of uh, kids playing with toys. So that's really nothing to, uh, to uh, affect us as Kenyans. All Kenyans, we need to maintain peace. We need to build this nation. We need to put the electioneering period behind us. As the president said in his speech uh, during his inauguration or his swearing in, he said his swearing in marked the end of the political festive or the political period in Kenya, and now we should concentrate on building the nation. Yes, we have, uh, we as Jubilee Party, we are committed, as our president has said, that he's committed to having uh, bringing the nation together, healing the nation. We know for sure that during uh, political competition, we will have differences. We will have people pulling on this side and pulling on the other side. But after an election, we need to come together and build our nation. And I'm happy with the developments now in parliament. We can see that uh, members of parliament from the opposition have come together. They are come back in the house. We are debating and we are ready to move on. So I think all parts of the nation and all other cadres of leadership should also join in. Well, no, no, there's no division. In Parliament, we are uh, working as colleagues, all aimed to work for the good of this country. And we don't see any reason why we should uh, be pulling again.
in different directions. Now it is to pull for the common good of all those who elected us and let us serve the people for the next five years before the next election. So. All right, that is uh, Caleb Kositani there, who is a soy member of parliament addressing the press on the swearing in of NASA leader Raila Odinga, a move that uh, the opposition has pledged to engage in on the 12th of December, which is meant to be a national holiday, Jamhuri Day, uh, for a national celebrations for Kenyans. Uh, Caleb Kositani there urging Raila Odinga to reconsider that decision um, by the opposition to swear him in, has also gone forward to um, just a segment to cement uh, the place of uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta was rightfully uh, sworn in uh, two weeks ago, saying he is the only um, legitimate and uh, pr president in the country and the only person to be recognized as a president. Um, Caleb Kositani, they are also talking about um, the perceived rift within parliamentarians across the political divide, saying parliament is very much united in its um, negotiations. So we'll be uh, taking a look at more of what he said in our subsequent bulletin. But 